Hello everyone, it's Lorraine and today I wanted to talk about two different pressed powders or shine control type of powders, mattifying powders, um, two different brands. I hauled these, um, this one is the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder with Rice Protein Complex. This one came in a duo with a um, mattifying primer and then this one I had purchased with the CoverGirl Queen Outlast 3-in-1 um, foundation. This one again is by CoverGirl Queen and this one is Q405 Light Golden. It is the lasting matte press powder and this one doesn't The Nutri Shine Control Powder is supposed to be invisible and it says 1010. And this one is 0.37 ounces and they're both the same 0.37 ounces or 10 and a half grams. Um, this one was like $20 in the duo pack. And then it was, I think, buy one, like I got points with Walgreens. And this one I also bought at another Walgreens. Um, I think CoverGirl was buy one, get one half off at the time. Now, um, so I just wanted to give like come like give my review of each of the powders since I hauled them but didn't talk about them before. I've used these two quite a bit interchangeably, and I've found that um, I actually prefer the CoverGirl Queen um, Matte Press Powder. Um, better than the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. I felt like with this one, I was having to reapply quite a bit. Like it didn't control my oil as well as this one did. Um, I don't know if you probably noticed that. <laughs> my face probably looks kind of weird because on this half of my face, I did apply just some of the pressed powder alone. Like I am kind of oily and shiny right now. Um, so I just applied some um, on this half of my face. This has half, I don't have anything on it. So um, um, again, I like this one much better. I didn't have to reapply this one as often as I did with the Neutrogena one. And even though this one says it's translucent, um, it really isn't. I don't know if it's probably better. This is probably more better for fairer skin tones. Um, and this is probably, this one would be better for women of color. Just because this one, let me show you. They both come with a mirror and the little sponge. Excuse my sponge. That's the one thing I don't like about the sponges. This looks totally gross. And then this one, um, it was actually whiter, but you know when you have foundation on and you have it on the sponge and the front sponge is sitting down it kind of like tinted it a little bit but um it doesn't like that's what it looks like it does you know smooth out pretty well but i found that in photographs you get that horrible horrible white cast with this one whereas with this one you don't i use this one for my um when I got my driver's license um, photo done back in May and then I used this one also when I got my picture taken for my passport and you didn't see a cast or anything, a white cast or anything at all. Again, this one has a mirror also, <laughs> the sponge and um, that's what the powder looks like. Um, it is a tinted powder so this one could potentially give you a little bit maybe a little bit of coverage or whatever but I just felt like this one gave you a more natural look I didn't have to reapply this one as often um, packaging is pretty much the same you know just the same type of opening and everything both the same type of sponge um, but again I just found that this one controlled oil much better for me um, and did not leave that horrible white cast that you get in pictures which is really really annoying when you want to you know you're trying to be all cute with your makeup on and you take a picture and then you look weird because that white cast like you can tell you have a makeup whereas this one looks really really natural and doesn't give you that white cast um, I, I want to say they're probably close to the same close to about the same price probably CoverGirl is probably a little bit cheaper than 
um, than the Neutrogena products. I've found that in the stores like Walgreens or whatever. But if you can take advantage of sales, you know, do make sure you do that. And then Walgreens did change their beauty club thing. They used to have that little cart where you get the 10 cents, you get 15% off. They're no longer doing that. Um, what they're doing is um, basically you get 50 points for every dollar you spend of cosmetics products you just have to make sure you have your card there's like a little coupon that they've been having in the sales ad that they just need to scan once and for that entire month you get 50 points for every dollar that you spend which I don't know which one is better the 15% off your entire order after you get 10 stamps I guess it kind of depends on how much you purchase at Walgreens because Walgreens isn't the cheapest in terms of makeup products. Target is generally more cheaper. It's cheaper, but I found that, I mean, I guess it just depends on your area because again, every store carries stocks different brands more than others. So it's just a matter of what you can find. Um, but anyway, I really like the CoverGirl Queen um, Matte Press Powder. It keeps me matte longer. It um, has a better look in photographs. Um, slightly cheaper than the Neutrogena one. This one gives you the, that ugly white cast. Um, the primer was kind of gritty. I'll have to do a separate video on that. But just wanted to give you an update or follow up on these two items since I did haul them. I've had this one for quite a while. And this one, not as long as I've had this one. But I've had better results with this than I had with this one. So, um, yeah, let me know. And again, I'm a beginner to press powders and powders and all that type of stuff. So, I don't know. But I'm really, really liking this one. Um you can probably see I can see the difference in my skin again this side has the pressed powder this side has nothing um, but yeah just wanted to give a follow-up let you guys know what I thought about it really enjoying the covergirl queen and let me know what powders you're using and what you're loving especially if it's drugstore because you know I'm a beginner trying things out and um, I would prefer to find a holy grail drugstore product than a higher end product and this one actually works really well for me so yeah let me know what you think let me know if you've tried either of these let me know what your thoughts were did you which one did you like better all those type of things leave your comments below um, I think that's pretty much it thanks for watching stay polished at all times and have a great day Bye.